Screens are everywhere these days. They're in our pockets, they're on our wrists. Hell, some people even have them on their fridge. But when it comes to watching content like TV shows and movies, even games, I can't help but wish these screens were a little bigger. Manufacturers have tried all sorts of things to get around this problem. There's folding screens, there's even bigger folding screens, there's external screens, multiple screens, but at the end of the day, nothing really compares to sitting at home in front of your big TV. TQ Sky is a brand that's looking to change that. These smart glasses give you a massive 170 inch equivalent private screen so you can feel like you're at the cinema no matter where you are. They're called the TQ Sky T2 dual mode smart audio visual glasses and they're about to launch on Kickstarter. I was lucky enough to get my hands on an early production sample so I can show you what they're all about. You might not have heard of TQ Sky before. They're a relatively new brand on the scene, but they've got plenty of experience. The core members of the founding team have over 15 years of experience in the XR industry. And with a product like this, I think it's plain to see. Now, without further ado, let's take a closer look at them. Okay, so as mentioned in the intro, this is an early production sample. So we don't have the packaging, we just have the contents of the packaging. The packaging will look something like this. So we get this nice semi-hard shell branded case to keep the glasses safe while you're traveling. It has a nice little loop that you can wrap around your wrist or to hang the case up on, hang it off your bag or something. Zip it all the way around. Inside we've got the glasses themselves, which I'll get onto in a sec. A USB-C cable and a nice little branded cleaning cloth to keep them looking nice. The USB-C cable is right angled on one side, straight on the other. Comes with a little Velcro tie to keep it tidy. And it's very soft silicon material, so it's not too stiff. It doesn't like get caught on things. It's very comfortable to use. So the TQ Sky T2 smart glasses come in two different colors. You can either choose from Moonlight Silver or Starry Gray. Starry Gray is the darker one, which we've got here. They're quite bold looking glasses. They make a bit of a statement which I'm all right with, I think that's fun. So the lenses attach magnetically to the front and they're quite sturdy once they're in place. We've got a silvery option here, but there's four total color options that you'll be able to choose from. Some of them have a gradient fade with different colors. One's black and this one's silver. There's also an additional shade in the box, which is just solid plastic. And that magnetizes over the top simply for when you want no distractions. You don't want to be able to see your surroundings. You just want to block everything out and watch whatever you're watching. I like to use these at home, but if I'm on the bus or a train or something, I like to be able to see what's going on around me. So in that case, I prefer these semi-transparent UV protective ones. I don't think I mentioned yet, but they are UV 400, so they're safe to use outdoors. They'll keep your eyes protected in the sun. So if you've not seen glasses like these before, the way they work, is they've got two micro OLED screens that point downwards from the, whatever you call this bit, headband, I suppose. And then they fire through this prism. And when you're wearing them, it places the screen right in front of your eyes. It also makes the screen feel like it's a little further away. So it's not like having a screen plastered up to your face. You don't get that kind of eye strain. It does, it's very easy on the eyes. And if I plug a phone in, We'll get the screen to fire up so you can see what I'm talking about. So if you look through the front of the prism, you can see the screen that's firing downwards. And maybe I can show you, yeah, here's a look through the lens. Looking through the lens through a camera is never going to look as clear and crisp as it does seeing it with your own eyes. But to give you an idea of what to expect, you basically just get a massive screen that appears out of nowhere when you're looking through the glasses. So as for the screen, TQ Sky describes it as equivalent to a 170 inch screen at five meter distance. And they say it's an ultra HD hi-fi giant screen with accurate true to life colors. For the specs, each screen is 1080p. It's up to 2000 nits peak brightness and it's 2600 pixels per inch, which is pretty crazy. One of the more unique things about these is the audio solution. Most smart audio visual glasses have speakers built into the arms which are kind of angled towards your ears but these ones swivel so you can move them about and uh, the closer the driver is to your ear the better things sound these speakers are actually really good and they're still an open design so when you've got these glasses on when you're listening to stuff you'll still be able to tell what's going on around you these kind of keep you grounded in the real world which is exactly what you need when you're on like an airplane or something. These glasses also have a Bluetooth function, 
which is something I've not seen before on a pair of video glasses. And I'll cover how that works in just a moment. And they're also very adjustable. You'll know if you watch this channel that I wear glasses. A product like this would be pretty useless to me if I couldn't adjust them. We've got zero to 600 degrees of myopia adjustment on both the left and right eye. And I can get a nice crystal clear image of them. The nose pad also has three set positions. So that's the furthest out. You can also have it here and you can push it here. So make sure you get a comfortable fit and a clean image. They're also uh, very springy and adjustable. So you've got a big or a small nose, <laughs> you'll, be able to, uh, you'll be able to get them set up with no trouble. Now I'm sure you're wondering, what can you use these glasses with? What would you use these glasses for? Well, that's what we're gonna get into now. So let's take a look. Okay, so when it comes to using these glasses with an Android phone, the process couldn't be simpler. You take the USB-C cable. I prefer to use the right angled end and plug it into the arm of the glasses. Just lets the cable sit a little nicer, but you can put it in the other way around if you want. Stick the glasses on your head, fold these arms down so you get the best audio. Take the other end, plug it into your Android phone. You'll hear a chime to let you know they're connected. You'll see this on your screen that asks you if you want to connect and mirror your screen. So tap mirror display and there you go. I've got the screen displaying in my glasses now. If I play any videos, the sound will come through the speakers. It really couldn't be easier. The only time it's a bit different is if you have an Android phone that supports a desktop mode. This is the S25 Ultra, which supports it. A lot of Huawei phones support it as well. When you plug into this phone, you get two options. You can either mirror the display like I showed with my Vivo phone, or you can use DeX, which essentially gives you something equivalent to a Windows desktop and you get a touchpad on your screen and you can control the cursor with the touchpad screen. It's just a different way of interacting with Android. I really like it. I think it's good for productivity. Another nice thing is you can get a video playing using DeX and if you lock the phone, the video will continue playing in the glasses, which I really like. Now, if you have a newer iPhone, like I've got the 16 Pro here, which comes with a USB-C port on the base, the process is almost identical. You just plug in, the first time you do it, you'll be asked if you want to mirror your display, but I've done it before and I can already see the display in the glasses right now. What I like about the way the iPhone works is when you play a video, it will act like you're airplane, which means you have controls on the phone, but the video doesn't play on the phone itself. It only plays in the glasses and I can lock the phone, put it in my pocket and the video keeps playing in the glasses, which is really nice. Otherwise, it's all pretty much the same. I can see the, the home screen. I can see everything that I'm doing on the phone in the glasses. It's dead simple and it works really well. If you want to use these glasses with your laptop, no matter whether it's a MacBook or a PC, it couldn't be easier. As long as it supports display over USB-C, plug them in, they'll be recognized as an external display. I've got a second desktop on these glasses right now, but I could mirror the output of the laptop as well. It's just like plugging in an external monitor you can set it to work however you want. Personally, I think carrying a little case like this is much easier than carrying an external monitor, and much lighter too. And in some situations, it could be the way to go. One of the more unique things about the TQ Sky T2 glasses is that they have a Bluetooth mode. There's a Bluetooth pairing button here. If I press that, you'll hear it's entered Bluetooth mode. Obviously, there's a small battery built into these glasses so that they can work without a wire. I'm not plugged into anything. And if I play some music on my phone, it'll come through these speakers on the glasses and actually sounds really good. The, this positioning, uh, according to TQ Sky, makes it sound 30% better than glasses with the speaker built into the arms that you can't adjust. And yeah, it's a nice little bit of extra functionality if you want to get more use out of your new purchase. One thing I was really looking forward to trying with these glasses is using them as a heads-up display for my DJI Mini 3 Pro. But unfortunately, this controller doesn't support display out over USB-C. You need the newer one. The, uh, the DJI Mini 4 Pro works without issue, but I ain't got that. As you can imagine, being able to see through these glasses with some peripheral vision, it'd be really good for flying drones, I think. Maybe it's time for me to upgrade and I'll try that out soon. But for now, we'll just have to pretend. So I've been using the TQ Sky T2 glasses for about a week now. And I already knew I was gonna like them for traveling. The amount of times I've been on a plane I'm watching a movie and there's like a violent scene or a bit raunchy. You can see a kid or an old lady looking over your shoulder. It's mad awkward and these glasses solve that problem completely. They also look a lot better than the screens you get on the back of plane seats. But what surprised me is how much I enjoy using them at home. They're great for long gaming sessions. 
save you craning your neck by looking down at your phone all the time. And you can just plug in that USB-C cable the other way around and it's not going to get in the way of your palm. I also really like using them when I'm laying in bed or lying back on the sofa. It's much easier than holding up a phone in front of your face and you're never going to drop it and <laughs> give yourself a fat lip, which is something that I've done in the past. I also really like using them with decks. If you pair it with a little Bluetooth keyboard, you got yourself a nice little productivity setup and it's a lot easier than carrying around a laptop. If the TQ Sky T2 smart glasses sound like the perfect addition to your tech setup, be sure to check out the Kickstarter, which is linked down in the description below. If you're getting early, you'll get yourself a nice little discount. I've really enjoyed using these and next time I travel, they're for sure going in my carry-on bag. Massive thank you to TQ Sky for sponsoring this early look at the T2 smart glasses. I hope you found the video useful. If you did, get subscribed because there's always more cool stuff on the way and I will catch you in the next one. Toodles.